My name is Neve and I work for T-Way Radio Shop which is owned by Emits Communications. We are a leading supplier of T-Way radios, accessories and bespoke communication solutions here in the UK. We have worked in collaboration with hundreds of educational facilities over the years, helping them to create a safe and secure learning environment for the staff and students. There's loads of benefits that schools can reap from implementing two-way radios into their operations, but safety and security is definitely top of the list. We know that it can be really scary and, and daunting when an emergency situation arises within the school and without a proactive tool or solution in place, unforeseen circumstances can pose a significant risk to both the staff and students on site. So we're hoping that by educating all staff um, within the school that will be using the two-way radios on how the emergency feature works, they'll feel more confident when tackling a dangerous situation, mitigating possible risks and safeguarding staff, students or anyone that's on the premises really. The purpose of today's video is to demonstrate how the emergency feature works on the High Tier BP5 series. So these are the two devices that we normally recommend to schools. This one is the BP515 and this one is the BP565. These are great for using in schools because they're small, they're lightweight and they make it easy to communicate on the go. Even though they're quite small, they've got a robust design and come in IP54 and IP67 rated. If you'd like more information on IP ratings, I'll leave a link to a blog post down below where we go into that in a little bit more detail. They have an impressive 10 hour battery life so that'll mean an uninterrupted school day. They won't be taken out of circulation for charging. And they also have enhanced audio capabilities for loud and clear communication. They also have built in AI noise cancellation technology. I'm just going to explain how the channel situation will work on these radios. So most educational facilities in the UK have a simple site radio license which is provided to them by Ofcom. These licenses um, start from £75 and they last for five years before having to be renewed. That's about as much as we need to know today um, to understand what's going on with these radios but if you would like more information on licensing then I can link a video down below where we go into more detail or if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments. Normally with two-way radios you have to be on the same channel as the other people that you're trying to communicate with so although these radios have 16 channels if you're on channel one you'll only be able to communicate with someone else on channel one so for example i have both of these radios on channel 14 so they should be able to talk to one another testing testing one two three whereas if i change one of these radios onto a different channel like channel 15. 15, they won't be able to communicate with each other. Testing, testing, one, two, three. But the way that we've set up the emergency feature is that channel 16, which is normally the last channel, is the dedicated emergency channel. What that means is that all of the radios are programmed to constantly monitor or scan channel 16. Um, and that basically means listening to if anything's transmitted on 16. So if anything is transmitted on 16, which is the emergency channel, all of the radios will be able to hear it, even if they aren't on that channel. If you were in an emergency situation, you would need to get your radio, go to channel 16, and then when you speak and transmit, it'll go to all of the radios that are constantly scanning channel 16 even if they're on channel 3 or channel 4 or channel 7, they'll be able to hear that emergency call. This radio is currently on channel 12. And I'm going to put this radio onto channel 16, which is the emergency channel.
and when I speak through this radio, all of the other radios, or just this one, because this is the only one that I've got available right now, will be able to hear whatever I say through here, even though it's on a different channel. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, three, three, three. Again, have the radios too close together, but you get the idea. As an example, maintenance might be walking around the school and find a fire in the kitchen or something like that. And what they would need to do would be to grab their radio, switch it onto channel 16, which is the dedicated emergency channel, and radio to all the other users. This is maintenance, I found a fire in the kitchen and we need to initiate fire response. Even if admin staff are on channel 2 and the teachers are on channel 4 and whatever else, they'll all be able to hear that emergency alert and then you can quickly follow whatever steps you have in place for a fire. That brings us to the end of today's video demonstration. If you have any questions on anything that we've mentioned in today's video, or even if it isn't related to the topic in this video, um, you can contact us at the information on screen now. Or you can leave a comment down below if you are on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching today's video demonstration. We're honoured to be able to support schools in creating a safe, secure and productive learning environment. If you have any questions again, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us.